All right. Okay. Uh, throw on my filter because I hate myself any other way. And boom, insecurity's gone. For now. All right, um, I never thought I'd be filming one of these, like ever, <laughs> but I, I did it the other day on stream and like it went moderately well, like no one seemed to get bored. So this will just be uh, at the start of today's uh, full gameplay. Of course, there'll be a timestamp somewhere. Um, you can just click to skip to get ready with me and and mental issues talk while i get ready to stream so you know if you want to skip to that timestamp for the full gameplay feel free to do so alas um i'm just gonna sit here and ramble to myself um listen to music you cannot hear and um put a look on <laughs> so let me just throw up what I'm listening to. Um, like I said, you just won't be able to hear it, and I'm so sorry about that. Last night I tweeted. Oh, this is still loud in my ear. Last night I tweeted, um, and I, I realized that I am missing a little bit of context to an extent. Um that I am happy, uh, like the bottom line of the tweet was basically, I'm happy that um, I have a, a community, whether small or big, who understands mental health. Um, and that makes me happy and that I would, to an extent, be an open book, which I never understood how like influencers and people like get so big and they keep, you know, like, their mental health problems like not in check per se and you know they just start to expose a lot more of themselves but in a negative way like let's say they lash out and do something and then they start to blame it on mental instability which i'm not dragging i am one of the most least mentally stable people i know um but yeah that never really stood out to me so i'm like let me just go ahead and air all my dirty laundry out now just in case i have to try to defend myself later um not that i would necessarily do anything like uber terrible or anything but you know um if i primarily with me is if i feel low energy or i seem low energy uh because i do notice like there is a drastic difference in like my tiktok content to my YouTube content, to me being live, um, I am most definitely not the same person through uh, all the way through. Uh, and I'm not gonna lie, like lately I've been going through it and I'm so sorry, I'm gonna be bouncing all over the place in this little get ready with me. I'm gonna try to edit it down as best I can, but there's a lot of this I need to just personally reflect on and just watch for myself because in editing, I'm gonna, completely acknowledge the fact that I look and act a little on the unhinged side throughout some of this but it is nice to be able to see it from I don't know uh, a different view even though it is still myself and I just know when I do start therapy god damn I'm gonna be a therapist's wet dream come to life I don't even know where to start like I don't really know the core well i do know the core issue of what's been bothering me lately but um i don't know it's just been a very strange time lately
Now, fortunately, I am not James. Tr oh, that's not the right concealer. Um, thankfully, I am not uh, James Charles. So you're not going to be getting a, I use this, or, you know, this is my favorite sponge, or this is my favorite palette. We're, we're not, I'm not doing that. You, you know, this is just kind of, it's a little bit on the therapeutic side for me. My music stopped. Oh no. Uh, it's a little bit therapeutic for me to just sit here and do makeup and listen to music. Um, but for the most part, like it is, like I said, I just need to get a lot of this like off my chest. Um, I'm going to be like trying to not look up into the monitor for this and as how I have a whole mirror right down here, like right in front of me. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do none of that. It's, it's just for me to rant and talk and, you know, I guess kind of like let people who actually care, <laughs> uh as far as like how like my mental health online is concerned i guess just like i guess give you guys a glimpse of where i'm at because the other day i did post in my discord and i really wish i could check it um that i am leaving not leaving per se but um i did remove discord from my computer and my phone um and my ipad over some shit that has like gone gone down recently and it started to bring like that issue I'm that I am still dealing with might I add um and I don't really feel like we'll ever stop unless I let what happened go um but it did bring up a little bit of trauma from like a like my first relationship and I've kind of gotten into that like a little bit on my channel um, because at one point I did think, you know, for the most part, I had moved on and, you know, I was doing better. But I did reuse an audio from roughly three years now or two years and some months in that video, which is the good and goodbye montage video I did. Uh, at the beginning, I did get a little heavy and a lot of people were worried. And while I appreciate your guys' concern, there is nothing to be worried about. Um... And it's kind of something I've also had to stress to my mom, too, because this is also new territory for her, as it is for me, of course, because I thought for the most part, I was at least fine when it came to my mental. Um, then I quickly realized, no, bitch, you are not fine. Um, I need more concealer on this side. So I did kind of have to, uh, you know, explain, yeah, you know, is that the story at the beginning of that video was, um, about like my first relationship like I said I didn't really go too deep into it but um I think the people I think a lot of people kind of caught the gist you know with the message behind the song and you know just that little tidbit of that story uh or that cl uh, audio clip um that you know what had happened on that particular day um god I never really realized how much I say um and honestly like I can see what I don't see. How do you, how do people watch me? <laughs> I, that part I don't get anyway. Um, oh, well, there it is again. Goddamn. Uh, no, I'm um, saying challenge, please. Anyway. So like one thing I've had to really stress to like the people in my life. Well, my mom, cause I really don't discuss like my issues with anyone. Um, as far as like, you know, family. I'm really not that close to my family like that. I, I, I tend to be a very quiet party. Um, if you see me looking down, by the way, there is a mirror right here. I think I already said that. But I tend to not discuss shit with family. I, I am just now recently opening up to my mom about a lot of like trauma and thoughts that are resurfacing and uh Uh, things that are um, kind of happening with me lately. Um, but I did kind of have to stress to her that 
And I really hope no one takes this the wrong way because this isn't supposed to be like super dark. But uh, like I said, to an extent, I would be an open book and this, I re this really is nothing to worry about. And I know that's probably going to take a, a few people um, some actual understanding. Um, while I may not have regard for my own personal health and well-being, I am also not going to actively seek to bring myself to an end. <laughs> uh, and I, that's really no, no joking matter. But I, I have to laugh because if I don't, then um, it becomes an issue for me later. So... Yeah, I kind of had to stress that to her. And of course, as a mother, I, I kind of get, you know, why she cares so much. Uh, because lately I, I've been spiraling heavy. Oh, I don't have my flower crown on. I've been spiraling like heavy, heavy over some shit that like I really shouldn't even let affect me like that. But I can't help that it does. Uh, because like I said, a lot of it had to deal with some like you know, real life trauma and shit that I've had to deal with. This crown is lopsided simply because uh, it is broken and I need another. I'm gonna have to break the rest of that headband. Ugh. There, that way it's not, ooh, that way it's not so uh, pointy in my temples. So I do, uh, yeah, I, I just kind of been spiraling. I, I haven't really been taking care of myself. And I haven't really, like, done much besides go to work, come home, you know, play some League a little bit. Uh, at the time, play some GTA a little bit. Or actually a lot of bit. I actually enjoyed RP. RP was fun while it lasted. But we didn't, we ain't gonna dive into that. That's partially the root of my issues. Um... Well, I guess the re, the re up of my issues. Anyway, um, but yeah, and and I, like I know with depression and other mental health issues, like there, like that toll is you. You kind of stop taking care of yourself. Like I finally got my hair cut today, like barely an hour ago, which y'all aren't gonna necessarily see anyway because there's a crown on my head and, um big ass earphones over it so you guys don't even you know y'all don't, don't really get to see that but i got my hair cut i'm so proud of me i actually got out of bed to do something productive to make myself look better and i have a fucking date tonight man like after i finish streaming i have a fucking date like part of me wants to be like over the moon excited about that but at the same time i'm like god like don't get me wrong down with all men myself included <laughs> But I, I am a little on the excited side. That will definitely take my mind off of a lot of shit that I have going on that I really don't want to address. And that I'll just keep running from and, you know, have to pay more for in therapy later. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Like, lately my mood has been a mix of... And I'm a very music-driven person. Like, music can easily change and dictate my mood in a second. And that can be good and bad in some cases. But I, don't, I also don't know what look I'm going for today. Um, lately, like, I, I've been kind of in a dark place. So I'm thinking maybe a red and a black. That could be something cute and simple. But, um, yeah, music has, like, music is such a, like, defining force in my life where it gets to a point if like life becomes a little too much to handle. Like I can at least listen to a song and feel, you know, something better about myself. I hope I'm using the right brush for this. I don't fucking know. Um, I'm not sure what's gonna look better here. This red or that raspberry red or this red here. This red I'm noticing is I gotta pull out all the palettes. I, I gotta pull out all the palettes to examine reds. I want a pretty red. I want it to be like bright, but also dark, if that makes sense. Uh, this one is lighter than that one. That one is darker. I think I already know which one I'm gonna go with But we're gonna pull out James's palette anyway. Remember separate the uh, the artist from Separate the influencer from 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 the product. <laughs> we don't need to drag me for this palette Definitely. No, there's not a red in here. There's like a burnt orange which could be useful later, but I guess I will see 
Um, is there one in this Avani Greg? Uh, this red definitely mimics that red, that red. Okay, cool. So we're probably gonna ignore two of these palettes. Uh, what about Miss Jacqueline Hill? There, of course, is not a red in there. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking when I bought this one, but I like created one good ass look from it but this one from color pop oh my god you can't really see it because there's ring lights and a filter on me to make me look not ugly but yeah where the fuck was i yeah so the date will help me take my mind off a lot of shit um music music that's where i was music like music Okay, I'm not gonna lie, like, lately I've been in a fucking funk. Like, I have been in a goddamn mood. I have not been happy. And something around 3 a.m. clicked in me and was just, like, evil. And, and not like, you know, go be evil, you know, go commit evil. No, it was, like, kind of a, uh, not like a dark mood, but a dark mood. So I've kind of been listening to more dark-sided music or dark-toned music. Uh, primarily, like, Bloody Mary from Gaga or a little bit of Kim, like uh, Massacre, you know, nothing like, God, I know this sounds so fucking terrible. Like this sounds completely like fucked up, but I don't know. Whenever I get in that kind of a mood to like listen to more dark theme songs, like I would much rather feel that way than feel depressed. Like, at that point, I'm kind of like a mix of the Countess from American Horror Story and, I don't know, fuck, um. I don't know. I actually don't know where the fuck I was going with that thought, to be fair and to be honest with you guys. But, yeah. You see, this is what I mean. Like, I I'm all over the place, like... 25-8. All over the place. So it is nice and, and is definitely grand whenever I'm like reading TikTok comments and they're really like nice and shit. Um, I'm like, boy, if only you guys knew what was really going on in my little dome, my noggin, if you will. You know, sometimes I miss being in a relationship, but as of like some events as of late, I don't really miss it that much, if you know what I mean. Like, I know a relationship is nice, and I guess for the most part, like the only, well, there, I have a few healthy relationships to look up to. Uh, my mom is in a, health, in a, a very healthy relationship. Um, even though Brooke's in Korea right now, her relationship with Alex is, I, I assume, pretty healthy. You know, we kind of, you know, all, all, all four of us are kind of doing our own little thing. And I love Discord, and I'm pretty sure they've had, like, hella calls, or, you know, they've been calling and talking, or, well, Brooke and Super, that is. And, but for the most part, I've just kind of been, like, recovering from a few issues I've I've been dealing with. And I guess still is dealing with, but eventually I might just have to let the fuck go. Uh, I can't really see myself that well because um, I, this mirror is heavy to hold. So I'll just use the Jawbreaker palette instead. So, yeah, I, I do miss having someone outside of like, you know, blood family to talk to. You know, someone who technically signed up for you know to to help me deal with you know me and my shit um and i help them deal with their shit sometimes i do believe that a relationship would probably make me a lot more mentally stable which i feel is also very selfish but like I, you know you kind of can't help it but then i see like unhealthy ass relationships and i'm like whoo child thank god it ain't me but i feel like it would be nice it, I feel like it It would be nice. I can't really know for sure anymore. I haven't been in, you know, an actual relationship since 20. My relationship was, was a year long. We broke up in 2018. 
Yeah. So 1921 to four years I've been single. Four. And for a lot of those years, I have kind of, uh, like, I would date from time to time. Not, like, too serious. But after that, like, relationship ended. And I guess I'm going to get into it after all. Fuck it. Um, I did have to, like, reevaluate myself. Make sure, like, I know what I want. Which, in retrospect, you should going into a relationship. But um, most people don't tend to do that. And that's a wee bit fucked up. Because, I mean, as much as I thought I was ready for one, he was most definitely not ready for one. And, um, yeah. It, it became very evident. And whenever we did split up, like, he was within, he was in another relationship, like, give or take two to three weeks, okay? And I was not this person y'all see today, you know, I think I was a lot more mentally sane. I had, like, I have anger issues, I had anger issues, most definitely, but for the most part, I'm doing this side way better than I did the other side. For the most part, like, I was more mentally sane, and the person I am now, um, is a product of that failed relationship, failed dating, because apparently my standards are too high, and I say that as I'm, like, putting on makeup and sounding like a diva, Jesus fucking Christ, no wonder I'm single. I'm also, like, not hard to please in my eyes i know i know like to others i can be but i feel like what i ask for out of a man is strictly the bare minimum don't cheat on me treat me with respect i will treat you with respect i'm an energy person so the energy you give me i will either match or i will probably go above and beyond and that will also tie into a few of my insecurities and issues. And then once they realize that, they use and abuse those insecurities and issues. And kind of leave you out to dry. Like, they, you know, just used you and then will belittle you. At least that's just been my experience with men. Um, but for the most part, like, I do try my best to be a good person. I know, like, I kind of picked up, you know, Eve's personality and, you know, some of the shit that she says and does. But I, I can, you know, definitely say 100% that uh, I just vibe with it. I'm not that kind of a person. Yeah, I really fucked up that left side, huh? Yeah, I really fucked that up. Okay, so on the right side, we just have to match it. Mm-hmm. Mm I mean, it doesn't necessarily matter. I'm going to go in with black anyway. So, yeah, it, it just kind of... I don't know. Oh, maybe we go in with a burnt orange. Where's that James palette? James. He has a really pretty burnt... Uh, a pretty, really pretty orange in his palette. So, I will uh, I will be using it. It's like a auburn orange-y type of, type of vibe, if you know what I mean. But how well will this show with this filter? I, I, I do dare ask. Uh, I'm going to have to layer it some more. Because I do ha I have to remember I am painting for this filter. And not necessarily like, you know, what I see in this mirror. Because in the mirror, it's like 30 times more pigmented. But in this filter, along with a few other filters, it's not. So that's just what it is. And that's what she said. I actually don't remember where I was, but all I know is, um, yeah, sometimes I miss being in a relationship, um, just not as toxic as my first one was to the point where I wanted to unalive myself because like, I get that I have like my quirks and shit and my mom was always preaching to me. She's like, you know, just continue to be yourself and the right person who chooses, who thinks that they're up for the challenge and most likely is up for the challenge will accept that challenge but I have to work on myself in the process so I don't drive that person away and you know make my matters like a lot worse 
and I, I do understand that but for the most part it's like I've lowered my expectations and my standards you know throughout like a little dating phase countless fucking times just to be let down and disappointed because the moment I decide to you know lighten the fuck up um men decide to take a take a kingdom because I gave an inch um that's one thing I don't like because I'm like if I'm out here changing a lot of myself to appease and please you why the fuck would you not remain the person I know and or at least think you are based off of what you have shown me like I've had hella horrible dates that ended with oh well because you aren't gonna sleep with me um then fuck you <laughs> and i'm thinking to myself now if i was as bad of a person as i think i am i have already choke slammed the fuck out of you in the back of my mind and walked away after stomping on your neck but i would be crazy if i uh if i did that so i kind of have to like suck it the fuck up and move on regardless of how it made me feel which is something i really don't vibe with when it comes to the male species and i'm gonna continue to drag men i don't care if i am one myself i will drag the hell out out of a man and not feel anything we're gonna try to smoke is black that radiates that radiates out gradients out okay so start here make this darker and then lighter So yeah, it's just very, dating is hard. And like, like I said, I, I definitely miss being in a relationship. I don't miss the stress that came with it. I really wish relationships were just more simple, but that would be too easy. Like I have hella trust issues with people. Like even some of my friends I have hella trust issues with. And lately one of them primarily, I'm not gonna name names because that would be kind of stupid. Um, she kind of fucked me over. Like, low-key. She kind of fucked me over. Like, it was kind of the same scenario as I went through with my ex. Because, you know, it was, it was just kind of weird how it all went down. I'm not going to say too much. I'd really hate for, you know, to get a few Discord notifications, you know, waiting for me when I do to decide to log back in. Um, but yeah, she kind of fucked me over there. It was, it was kind of weird. And I guess I should have seen it coming, but I guess I didn't expect it from someone I have been calling sister. And no, it's not Brooke. Even like she's one of the closest bitches I have. No, it's definitely not her. Um, it's just a very weird time. And the whole situation really shouldn't even be affecting me. But unfortunately, because of past trauma and issues, it's fucking affecting me i actually don't really like this look anymore now that i'm like looking at it. i think it's because i've been rambling this entire time yeah it's gonna have to go a lot darker come on come 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 come. we're gonna just pack you the fuck on but yeah it really fucked me like it really fucked me like that it kind of like broke a few levels of trust and whenever like my whole situation is resolved just like do i even want to like even continue like that fucked me girl that fucked me hard in the ass with no lube like i should have seen it coming but because like i have like like i do put a lot of trust into some people because they just don't seem like the type of person to do something so foul and so wrong and the opposite party is also like heavily at fault too like they definitely should know that um i don't know it does feel like petty high school bullshit nonsense but i also can't help how i feel and i will continue to feel how i feel while i feel when i feel if you know how i feel and i mean shit if they don't like it well to be fair one of them will definitely actually both of them will most likely be cut the fuck out of my life which kind of sucks because it is you know over something kind of petty but everyone and i want everyone to kind of pay attention to whoever is still watching at this point uh, and didn't go and click ahead to the next timestamp. 
Your feelings are valid and your feelings are important. Do not let someone belittle you because they because they think the issue is not that big. But just remember, you're feeling that way for a reason and you have a right to feel that way because you can't affect, you can't help what your feelings do to you. you. You just can't. You can't help what your feelings and your emotions do to you. Um, now, some of it you can rationally sit down and think about, but in some cases, God damn it, you, you just can't. And that's what sucks the most about this, because like I said, in retrospect, it doesn't like actually matter. It doesn't like, like it doesn't affect me. Well, no, it affects me. Fuck that. Like it doesn't, it's not going to kill me, but it does tamper with past trauma, uh, past emotional trauma. And I'm like, God damn it, girl, you really just stabbed me in the back like that. And she doesn't even fucking know it. And I can't really bring it up because like, it would sound so fucking silly. Like it would sound so fucking silly if I like brought that up and was like, why the fuck did you do that? But it does speak volumes about you. If you have figured out who you are by now, it speaks volumes on you as a person. And I will leave that with you because I will never fully address you on it. Like ever. I may never bring it to your face, but I know that guilt when you see this, because I'm pretty sure you'll watch, baby, that guilt will eat you alive. And I do hope you feel like shit afterwards. And that might be a little mean in retrospect, but mm, I cannot help uh, my feelings and emotions towards this now because like Ariana said, when all is said and done, whatever happened, happened and girl, it happened. Like I said, the opposite party is at fault too. Hella at fault. And now that just raises a bunch of trust issues. Am I really feeling what the fuck I've done to my face? Let me like grab a grab a wipe. Because honestly, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm feeling what the fuck I've done to my face. Where are my makeup wipes? I, I can't find them. Hello, makeup wipes. Oh, I found them. I'm not really feeling what the fuck I've done to my face. I've done a black and red look before, but goddamn, it was not like this. So we're gonna wipe off the excess. We're gonna clean up that top edge because I do not carve out my eyebrows because I hate my eyebrows. No, honestly, if I can improve this around here, that might actually come out a lot better. But yeah, honestly, that situation, even though I didn't like name anything or go into detail about anything, um, uh, yeah, it's been fucking with me. It's been fucking with me heavy. Because it's kind of like you can't leave people out of your sight for too long. No, like without knowing like how they're going to act and if they're going to act up. And these two people acted the fuck up in like the worst way possible. Now, granted, I guess I'm kind of in the wrong and I can admit that to a degree. But like at the same time, I, I just I, I, I can't help how I feel. And that's not necessarily their fault, but like I said, it speaks volumes on them as people. Um, I'm like, if y'all will do that there, y'all will pretty much do that shit anywhere, huh? And it, it's very obnoxious and annoying because like I said, I can't even address them on it because it would make me look crazy like the bad guy. And, you know, I never, I am never one to victim blame, but at the same time, I would see where they're coming from with white ass fucking ludicrous and just downright crazy hmm i probably overdid it with the fucking black i should have just went in with more red can i fix that pretty sure i can i'm gonna try fuck it so yeah um i've been stabbed in the back by like too many people to kind of like just let that go like I've been stabbed in the back by family. I have been stabbed in the back by people who I've grown up around and grew up with. And I don't think there's no fixing that. Mm -mm. Mm. This is tragic, isn't it? Like what would even like would a lash even help this look? Like, 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 
Would a lash help? Would a would a would a lash help? Let me just like take a take a look. You know, what? honestly, a lash might help. The a, a lash dead ass might have just saved this fucking look. That's crazy. So, like, I've been stabbed in the back by like too many goddamn people throughout life, and I know that is uh, a sad part of life. Like, I've like it's it's crazy. And like, I guess like you should be like used to it because you can't really expect too much from people. And that is something I've had to come and learn. We can go and peel this off now. Uh, you can't really expect too much from people because the moment you do, that's when they show who they really are and, you know, gut you like a fucking fish. So yeah, it's, it's just, I don't know. I hate life and what it does to people. I hate experiences that put people through hell um because i do like to think i am a good person um for the most part i know to like a lot of people i could just you know be this horrible horrible person and i guess for the most part i am fine with that but you know like fuck man i mean life has kind of all bent us all over right so why should I, you know, have to bury how I feel and, you know, not act on how I feel and shit when I've gone through a lot of shit that like everybody else has gone through, but they may have handled it a lot better because they were blessed with mental stability and I was not, I, I, I can't help that. And I refuse to like be, I don't know, beaten down for it. And I know when I do have to like explain some shit to some people in the very near future, depending on how shit goes, it's going to be like very problematic and Aki's. I just said Aki's. I am a 25 year old man. I said what the fuck I said. It's just going to be very strange. Oh, fuck. Did I just fuck this up too? I did. I was supposed to angle it that way. Oh, fuck me. definitely supposed to angle this that way whatever i can just reapply the concealer after i wash well wash wipe 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 it down wipe mm. Mm. no actually i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about <laughs> bitch james charles i'm coming for your gig i'm less problematic anyway not after never mind let me know if i can say that anyway the point is actually i don't know what the fucking point was i actually really just wanted to sit down and do this before i went live um because what y'all don't know is when you guys watch this later like while well, when you guys see this live all of this shit this whole 38 minute thing which of course will be edited down a little bit more will be like a whole thing and you guys just got to see this and then you go back and look and it's like whoa shit he had a whole moment before doing that holy fuck he's so real and then i'll be like thank you thank you sir very much um i don't really even have like a light note to like bring up uh do you guys ever like sit and reflect on your happy moments when they're happening or do you like live in that moment like do you kind of like you know take a breath and be like wow i'm actually happy right now and then try to hold on to that feeling or do you like just live in the moment let that feeling like you know ride it out its course and then reflect on it later because i'm the kind of person who will realize i'm happy and i will sit in the moment like silently for like five minutes and just kind of like soak in everything I'm feeling that way I can try to bottle it up and you know unscrew that bottle later and drink it when I need it but sometimes it just doesn't work that way which is kind of sad and I really wish it did uh if I angle this one with more black a little bit of black Ooh, speaking of black I've been listening to a lot more of Amy Winehouse um, fun fact, I discovered her, of course, way after she had passed, R.I.P. Um, well, not too much longer after she passed. Well, no, I guess it was a while. Um, I discovered her when I was in college, and for a lot of you who don't know, 
I actually majored in graphic and web design. I was going to get my bachelor's, but alas, I dropped out like most people do because fuck college is a waste of your time and money. And, um, like when I discovered her, I also discovered Lana, who of course had been around for a hot ass minute. And I, I thought I was so fucking cool. And I thought I was so fucking artsy. And it's sad to say, I really wish I could go back to being that person in college who discovered Lana Del Rey singing about how her pussy tastes like Pepsi Cola and thinking they are just so fucking artsy. Like, I thought I was so, like, retro and cool. It was crazy. And then I look at myself now and I'm like, God damn, bitch, you're a fucking wreck. And I'm like, wow. Fuck this tape. Ah. Ooh, she's kind of pretty. That fucking makeup is like all wrong, but she's still kind of pretty. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh, she's giving extraterrestrial. That red is, fuck me, that red. That is so not right, god damn. Mm. Okay, maybe I can duplicate. No, honestly, that might be as good as it fucking gets. So we're gonna wipe this off on my makeup pillow which is essentially the pillow i sit on um but like my butt doesn't touch this part and it's like not an old pillow but it's just kind of like i did it by like i wiped my makeup brush on it once by accident just kind of made it a habit don't worry i wash all my brushes at the end of the day i really do so you know no pink eye anyway um let's see how am i gonna take the uh we'll just lighten this up i can't see because i'm having to look down Lighten that up with this red. Colourpop makes really pigmented palettes. Like it don't really take out that much. Anyway, I don't I've rambled a lot in this video. Well, this little intro, this little get ready with me. Um, I'm not gonna lie, when I had this idea in my head, it would it came out like a lot more emotional and sad. But like before I like sat down, I was like already in a decent mood. So I was like, okay, whatever I put out isn't going to be as like emotional as I thought. Um, because I'm not going off of like a script or anything. This is literally just me sitting here in my room, putting makeup on with a flower crown on and just talking like, you know, people can hear me. The outside. Mm. May I can pr I, I want to believe I can clean this up. I, I really fucking do want to believe that. And I'm really hoping and praying to the make of God above. Um, the only God. Mother Norvina. That uh, I can clean this shit the fuck up. Part of, partially, partially to blame are my eyelids. Let me also wipe this in the inner, like here. Wipe that clean a little bit. Listening to a lot of the weekend. I also like them. Um, you know, I think that's about as good as it's gonna fucking get. Do I do an under eye? Cause anytime I do, it never looks good. I look like I'm always like methed out or something, or like. I just dragged my face through like drugs. I don't know what to fucking do with that. Hmm. I think I can try a little under eye, but do I go with the red or the black? Black. Do I make it a whole under eye? Oh, maybe I do. Hold on, bitch. Maybe I'm sickening. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, there's a corner. I kind of have to like fuck my nose up when I do this. I 
I noticed that when I do this, I do tend to make like the side that can uh, goes up and connects with like the wing. It's a wee bit on the thicker side. I have to go in and kind of wipe it down. Wipe, you know, the TikTok trend. Uh, that was really cringy. I am so very sorry. Unfortunately, with this look, you do see that I am indeed using a filter. But I might be able to find a different filter that gives me the same effect and doesn't like glitch the fuck out like it is on my eyebrows right now. Because I think it's trying to register that these parts right here are like, you know, different parts of my face. What does this one give? Same effect. I don't think this one will glitch out as much. That one makes me look more depressed. That one also makes me depressed. I really wish I could make this one work. Oh, she's pretty. She's kind. If I take this filter off, you guys will actually see with like just a wee bit of retouching how ugly I am. Hold on. You see why I use the filter? Because the makeup just doesn't look good without it. I'm sorry. So also, hi, this is my real face when it's not filtered. Well, like I said, this is a slight little retouching and then, you know, of course, makeup. But I don't know with like filters involved. It just makes the makeup look a lot better. It could just be me, though. I could be crazy. I think I am a little crazy, actually. This one doesn't give me too much. I do like when it gives me that little facelift because I shaved my mustache and it looks like everything is just like drooping down. But yeah, mm. I think we may have to stick with this one or that one. I know you guys don't see like any difference, but trust me, I do. I think that one, I think we'll, I think we'll stick with that one. And of course, when I put a lash on, things will be a lot better, but we can finish this under eye. Before I keep going, it's sounding like a madman. Oh, let me go into the date tonight. Okay, if he doesn't stand me up, if he stands me up, you guys will definitely fucking know about it on Twitter. Okay. Um, this guy I've been talking to for like the last three years. Uh, he kind of like came into my life at the right moment, but like. I like we we've yet to like just sit down and hang out like we haven't had sex or anything, but we also haven't like. And I know it sounds sketchy, like we FaceTime. Let me get that out there. We FaceTime, but I haven't visually laid eyes on this person in person because he's a workaholic. I have him. I, I, I'm I'm always fucking depressed, even though talking to him makes me happy. And like we just kind of just been chit chatting and, and you know a few facetime calls every now and then like for the last three years this under eye might be not as bold it's gonna be a bitch to wash out later oh i can feel it No, fuck it. I think that's where I stop. Anyway, he like he's nice. He's like I was talking to my friend Boda the other day, or sorry, Lyndon, or shit. What is it? What are you going by now, Boda? Fuck. Let's look at your Instagram. Oh, the newest Judas. That's what it is, I believe. Um, we were just kind of like talking like last night on Instagram. Uh, also, Gooby to some of you. Um, I love him to death. He is such a fucking dear to like have as a friend. And I don't really have a lot of gay black male friends as it is. Um, so th that that's very nice. I, I I adore him. He's younger than me, but like a few years by like maybe two or three. So in a way he is like I look at him like a little brother, but he is so kind and he like I am just so proud of him. So but if you see this, just know I love you. Anyway, so like we were talking about like guys we're interested in and like kind of guys we're into. And shockingly enough, a lot of our tastes are the same. Um, So the guy like I showed him what the guy looks like. And I'm like, now if he just quit, you know, acting stupid. And if I get my shit together, man, this man, I could actually like make something beautiful. Um. Because you ever like seen a person and you're like, oh yeah, I, I, I want you. Like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. 
Like, I want you for more than your body, yada, yada, yada. So, yeah, I finally get to go on a date with him tonight. We're going to go to some bar that I've never heard of that has apparently been open in, like, a few towns over since, like, the 70s. And I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm like, I just want to hang out with you, you know? I'm not trying to jump your bones, even though I know, even though, like, I'm, I can be insecure as fuck, baby. Um, I am very well aware of the body and the talents that God has blessed me with. Like, if I wanted you physically, you would like I would have made you cave long ago. But it's about more than that. Well, anytime I like over exaggerate my eyebrows, they like kind of go down a little bit. Hmm, that's crazy. Um, while this does that, my mascara fell on the floor by accident. We can plump these bitches up a little bit. Hoping if you don't think I'm act, like insane after this, <laughs> like don't get me wrong, I recognize my own mental issues, trust and believe, but like, no, I can't be the only one who sits and does this, right? Like it's it's not just me, is it? Uh... Like it is nice just to kind of sit and ramble to yourself sometimes, I guess. I need to fill in my eyebrows because I hate them and God hates me and didn't want to give me like normal ass eyebrows. Truly a crime. He said, you can be gay, but I'm gonna be homophobic. I'm like, but God, why? I didn't even ask for this. I didn't ask for any of that. And he said, girl, tough titties. I said, oh. And he said, so what are you gonna do? I said, I'll just cry about it, I guess. I can't find my, um, eyebrow pencil for some fucking reason like dead ass someone like snuck into my house and fucking stole it um so i can't find that so i'm using this black pigmented powder uh, uh eyeshadow we're just gonna do that a lot better than what they did i feel like if i did carve my brows out like this the, this this brow right here would probably be the only brow that came out right like this one over here, I don't know. They're not even cousins. Like I can try to make this one more blockier, but it, it, it's just gonna end up looking stupid, really. Or not. Hmm. Someone in my TikTok comments, and I said this, I brought this up on stream the other day, said I should have been a Disney villain. And I'm like, and do I help them? Indeed I do. I would be a great ass Ursula just with a different color palette, you know? It would be more like reds and blacks and not purples and blacks. Granted, purple is also a sickening color. However, not really for me. Um, let me go and throw a lash on so I can end this off and start streaming and then go on with my day. Uh, so for those of you who did sit around for, the, I hope it's this pair. For those of you who did sit around and like listen to this, cause technically this has been going on now for almost an hour. Um, like I said, I will, edit it down the best I can but for those of you who did sit through this um thank you I, I did just kind of want to like put it out there that I am I guess for the most part fine and this left lash is too close to the inner corner of my eye Ooh, yeah. Ooh. This one's too close. Fuck me, daddy. Mm. She's cunty. She's fishy. She's a beauty queen. For someone who like literally had to like YouTube everything makeup related and you know take risks on certain palettes and things of that nature and you know brushes and shit, I gotta say, and I am tooting my own horn here a little bit because half the time I do look busted as fuck. I look good. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna end this part off here. 
uh, like I said, this now has been going on for 55 minutes and 16 seconds. So I'm about to go live. And for those of you who end up looking at this after I end the live, this is everything that happened before I went live. And this is kind of what happens all the time. So I am for the most part fine. God, that, that filter is really fucking up. I am fine for the most part, but you know, we all have our shit. And for me, this was really therapeutic. So if you sat and listened to it, I really appreciate it. Um, I know most of you won't be able to relate to literally almost any fucking thing I've said. However, just vibe, you know, do some makeup, listen to me rant, ramble. I swear I should have did a podcast. A lot of people have told me that, but I'm lazy as fuck. Like, don't listen to a depressed person when they say they'll do something because we are the biggest fucking liars. Like, I will dead ass tell my mom, yeah, I'll go out and do that for you now. I'll go handle that. I won't fucking do it. <laughs> I won't because I will convince myself to stay in that big ass queen ass bed right there. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna go. Um, enjoy the gameplay, I guess, because I kind of forgot that's what I was doing, but enjoy the gameplay. <laughs> So many joyful people to hurt. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Thanks, announcer lady. I feel so welcomed. Until they break. I am who do they have uh, okay so we're gonna come try something I think that's about the only one hopefully Camille can pull some off and once Pike gets fed it's kind of a wrap add brand on top of it and Sarah mm. I feel like my blue might get invaded. That's the only thing that doesn't sit right with me. Be pulling, pulling your tongue out through your neck. Pillow talk. I gotta make sure Brand doesn't accidentally steal this with his burn. Just wanna smite it. I can't lie, I refuse. Did I fuck that charm up? Can't really tell if I did. Timing may have been a little off. Who do, who do, who do, na, na. Oh, call it that girl got for blood on Camille. Poor camel toe. Hey, that is not gankable yet, baby. Do you know me? Oh dear. This is how it this is how it happens with Warwick. He's gonna get a kill. He flashed, I think. Yep, he got a kill. Then he begins to snowball. At least he flashed, I guess. Oh my. Oh, you're not gonna get me, baby boy. Yep, this is how it happens. All right. 
I'm just not gonna charm these wolves. Kinda happy I had a little bit of foresight. Uh and I didn't like go into his jungle because I thought about it. But of course, by bot scuttle being up, I kind of should have expected him to grab that and empath mid. So, oh, you know, we'll back. That action could have died, but fuck, man, counter ganked by Warwick again. Ooh, we're gonna go for boots. I need speed. I am speed. Anybody looking submissive in Gankabor? Nar. I actually fuck with that chroma for that skin. His name is Dreamcatcher. Okay, he wants to do it again. Okay, we can we can try it again. Someday they'll love me for who I really am. Nope, we can't. He said bye. Yeah, he's not gonna let him push, so fuck it. Once I was by the agony. Don't ping if you're not gonna let the person push, like, please. Warwick's top, one top mid. I don't have a ward. Oh no. He's going for you guys again. Don't let him go. Another one, please. It's not in there. Their mouths say no, but their bodies say flay me alive. I'm not pinging for my health, health, health here. Bruh, this is why I ping for you guys to come. It's not, I'm not pinging for the fuck of it, man. Kill them. They're probably going to finish it. I don't think they can. Okay, they can't. So I delayed it. And now there's vision on it. Perk. Perk. Cool. I take it off, I put it on, I feel the love when I transform. I need to get six faster, faster, motorbike faster. I use every part of their torment. Nothing. Oh my god, guys, get it together. Barrah! Fuck! I miss smoke. God damn it. Oh. Okay, well, there's Caitlyn ult. That's fine. God damn it, I miss smoke. 
can get away from this, I believe. Go ahead. D there you go. Good boy. They like it rough. Okay. Go top side. Linger around there a little bit because Camel Toe actually may not need that much help as I thought. Cool. At least she's handling herself. But god damn it, I can't believe I missed smoke that. Oh, Pike Baby, you are not safe. You are not home and you're, you're yeah, you're dead. Okay, cool. Uh, here we go with the pinging. Okay, Brand, finally, you did something. Cool, cool, cool. Period. Now I have ult. And now Kali's gonna get. Okay. Go ahead, bitch. Come back to it. I dare you. Okay. She won't. That was really sloppy. I mean, we are we can, but I ain't got smite to smite smite. Oh my god. Okay. God damn it, Pike! You would have just stayed with us. Fuck! Pike! Bruh, 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 bruh. Part of the gold. This man. Mm. If I ping, I don't have a smite up, and all three of us are attacking you. Why the fuck would you get off of it? Hmm. Like, Warwick has kind of proven he's suicidal, but still. Oh, look, your bed to lay in. Pike has no mana. Okay, he ignited me. Fuck you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. At least he didn't take out two of the bot lane. Ugh. I don't even know what to do. I don't I don't know what to do. I'm losing my lead lead like very fast. And now he has a level up on me. Puff in. Puff out. Save smite for dragon in 20 seconds. Stock and seduce. Okay, I can help here. Mm, maybe I need it. No, need it. 
Oh, fuck me. I really wish whoever's pinging that would shut the fuck up. No. Bruh. I swear to God. Okay. I need to go farm. Oh, Gaga, I'm sad, but not that sad. I need to help uh, Camille. Is she gankable right now? She's not even gankable. Cool. Yeah, still not gankable. How about a kiss? Action might. No, not necessarily. I think the wave is also in Camille's favor. Back up! Let's play hard to get. The wave is against Camille. Bro, bot lane is making it too easy. Found a bitch. Excuse me? Okay. Okay. Fine. Probably gonna, yep, mm hmm, mm hmm. Cool. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. They're moving as a unit. We are not. I have no words. I love it. Home. Yeah, no words. Camille, you didn't want to pay attention, baby. Maybe she can take him. Or maybe not. And maybe I need to build into that because fuck. Okay, at least she got out her and her scissor legs. Or they're probably gonna try to take that tower. I'm coming, Camel Toe. Oh, Camel Toe, wait for me. Mm. Oh, fuck. They're probably gonna go for Shelly. Maybe I can steal that. I was correct. I deadass might be able to steal that. No! Damn it. Okay, at least I thought. At least I thought. I attempted it. We're 11 to 21. This is not going to end well. Mid is sick. Yeah, I don't think I don't see this ending well. And if it does, it's by the grace of God. Camille has told Pike not to play mid again. Honestly, I kind of agree, but I'm not doing so hot either. So can't really bl blame him too much. Ah, uh, he's out farming me now. Noise. What the fuck? That's unfortunate. Oh, uh-uh. Okay, there's a heal. Pretty sure Sarah might stay. Oop. 
Not, not you, Queen of the Coven. You're not the one I'm. You're not the one I want right now. I want your subordinate. Does she back all the way here? She does. Really risky face checking this. I was born of a thousand. I just wasted so much time. What's one more? I waste this my by accident, my damn. Let's sneak around. Your team has destroyed a turret. It's okay, huh? Happens to everyone. Heed the fucking warning. Not what I meant to do. Oh my god! Again! I didn't have some you fucks! I can't do this no more. Kill her. If I could have stolen that, I would. And of course, cool. Oh my. You bitch. Uh. She's gone. Let it go. And you should have let it go. Them poor double buffs is about to be transferred. I don't think I need Dark Seal. It's not, it's not the mood this game. They can touch, but they can't. I put you blah, blah, blah. That's the best I can do. I'm gonna call you Podgy. Is that okay? I hope that's okay. Cause it's probably the best I'm gonna be able to say. Why are y'all over there fighting? The night is my Bitch! Oh, I'm gonna catch Caitlyn off guard here. Ah, thank you. Ooh, we don't wanna go that way. Y'all are so deep for no reason. Sure, great. Glad. <laughs> How are you doing today, Podgy? Ah, uh, we're backing. I hate building Morella Nomicon, but like, eh, it's kind of needed. Wait, what about you? I'm breathing. That's about as good as it's gonna get. I'm, I'm still breathing. One touch with desire. That's all I need. Why? What the fuck is wrong with this brand now? He's two ten. Where the fuck did you get wrong, mate? Like, what, what are you? I ain't got ult for another 14 seconds. Y'all better chill the fuck out. I swear this brand is now soft inting. Does Camille have hole breaker? She does. So she needs to be split pushing. I'm just like wasting time jacking off mid lane. for me, honey.
Did she hear the warning? She did. Stop and seduce. Now Pike. Oh. Whatever. It's fine. He lived. But they don't know won't hurt them. We got 44 seconds. We're fine. Okay. Now we're gonna keep it. Oh my god. They're dying again. Why the fuck are you fighting? The dragon is on the right ice. We did not need you to die right there. There's a Kali. We got six seconds, bitches. We gotta make a money moves. And I ain't got no vision to steal this. Or a blast cone. I can't see. I simply can't see. Okay, cool. We're gonna have none of these dragons. Yeah, we only have one. The next one is their soul. That might be end. Jewels and drugs, babe. Why are y'all fighting again? Y'all win this. Please tell me you do. I'll be overly horny if y'all win. Give me a kiss, Caitlyn. She's a bitch knowing I'm not gonna engage on that. This is okay. Bitch, you had full vision of her and you missed. Are you high? Girl, baby, baby, that ain't the move. Down the street that I love with my fishnet gloves, I'm a sinner. Oh, this is definitely exposing me. Oh my god. Uh huh. Yep, mm hmm. Yep, mm hmm. Uh, I hate that fucking. Oh, good. Kill her. I hate Zonias as an item. Remove it, throw it away. Get rid of Flash as a summoner spell. I'll be pleased. Will you be pleased? And they are all alive again. Sarah and Akali killed each other out of love. It was a love affair, truly. Come on, Camel Toe. Am I the only one building anti heal? She has none. Cool. Me and Misfortune. Anti heal. Do I manage to get to her in time? I do not. Won't poke holes in the seeds with my heels, cause that's where we make it. You. Mm. I can't. Okay.
Hold on, bitch. Don't forget about you. Oh, she's at least, ma at least matching hers. I'm not even going to type back. It's not worth my energy. But I will agree. Pike keeps, keeps missing the easiest of hooks. Hooks he has vision on. And somehow, Brand died 11 times. Oh, not, not the burn victim. Dictating and leading. Oh my god. Now Helen's house is happening. soul they're gonna get it like there's not a doubt in my mind there it is wikes no why are you fighting still it's a lost fight oh Oh, that was messy. Honestly, I didn't think my ult would be enough for Warwick there, but alas, it was. The flying fuck. Camille, you're also 3'9". Shut up. You're 3'9", girl. Don't do too much. <laughs> oh my god. Nope. It's not enough. And she. Yeah, Akali, I know 30 HP, whatever. What makes him think he's going to hit a hook without vision if he's not hitting the hooks he has vision on? These are questions I need answers to. Thank you. I saw this coming. The moment Warwick got that double kill bot, it was kind of over. Straight up by like being transgender life. I'm on the right track, baby. I was born to survive. No better black, white, or beige, Sherlock, or Orient mate. Don't be shy. <laughs> 
There is no fucking way that she walks away. Hey, I guess there's a way. Alder's up in a minute. Cool. Do I think we're gonna get it? Absolutely fucking not. He's just gonna resurrect, but that's fine. His GA is popped. Ow. Uh -huh. Remove flash as a summoner's bell, please. Oh my god, he finally got one. Oh my fucking god, he finally got one. Why did he stand stationary though? Is the depth of their pain. I can't help him. I'm dead. It's okay, huh? I'm not. These curves are real. Okay. Good job, Pike. Mm -hmm. Good job, Pikey Wikey. You and your little tidy whities. I did. I thought I was dead there. Cool. Back up and turn around. Hello, Goddess Isatyra. How are you doing? I can probably steal, but I have no hope. I can't ult. I hate my life. Does this actually turn out right? Probably not. Well, Fortune's doing damage. Look at her, she's actually like popping puss. Okay, Sarah woke the fuck up. Cool. I doubt Morgana can steal this, but you know, just be wary. How are you doing, uh, Satyra? It would be a good drag name. What the fuck? There's no fucking way she's running from this Morgana. You have Guardian Angel, you stupid bitch. Help her. Do damage. Beat the puss up. Bitch, a little auto, auto this bitch to death. G girl. Girl, Miss Ma'am, I'm a little discouraged today, huh? But I came to came. Oh, I appreciate that. If it makes you feel better, we're all a little discouraged at times, okay. especially me lately. Like I've been out of it, man. <laughs> I do not need to die here. Uh, one just went behind us. Or one tried to. We can't! Period. Ooh, I like to watch. What are the odds we actually win that dragon fight, man? Don't back, you don't need to. Bruh. We don't care. 
We don't care. I can't feel anything until they do. That's it, love. Let your guard down. Okay, cool. Give me that shit, stupid bitch. Y'all fighting somebody? We all fighting. Elder's already halfway over. We gotta do something with this fast. I'm just a holy fool. Of... Protect me, we win. You know, he might be right simply because of uh, Elder. You stupid bitch. Rude. Rude. Okay, per. Okay, per. The way we won, wow. Wow, man, that was not our game to win. It's Held hostage. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Honestly, I have no words. I'm not honoring any of you whores, actually. God damn. Pike did 11,000 damage. Child. Ooh.